Hey everyone, I can't wait to share with you some new Dollar Tree DIYs that are perfect for the holidays. Now this first project is a wall display that's gonna look perfect in your home for the holidays and it's really easy to put together. Dollar Tree is now selling some of these small wreath forms in packs of three. I wasn't able to find them, so I went with ones I already had on hand from Walmart. But you can use as many wreath forms as you want. I only went with three. Next, you wanna gather a variety of greenery. I have some from Dollar Tree and Walmart. So I'm gonna cut off smaller pieces of the greenery and then I'm going to hot glue it to my wreath forms. One of the tricks I like to use when I'm adding on greenery is you really want to layer it so it gives a little bit of texture and dimension to your wreath forms. You also want to try to disguise anywhere where you put glue. So if you can get like a smaller greenery piece and put it on top of the greenery, that makes it look so much better. I'm also adding some of the silver greenery just to give it a little bit of sparkle because I mean, this is for the holidays. This stick over here is one that I pulled just out of my bag Backyard, and I'm gonna use it to put my wall hanging on. Next, I'm gonna use some macrame, and I will link the macrame I use down in the comments. You're gonna tie some macrame to the top of your wreath form, and then you'll tie it to the stick. Usually I tie it loosely until I figure out like how high I want all of the different wreath forms to be, then I'll come back in and double knot it. Once you get them tied onto your stick, you want to take a step back and see if there's any greenery that you need to add or maybe reposition some of the wreath forms. And here's a look at how it turned out. Here's another wall art idea that you can try out. So I found these four frames with this wood style frame. I love the way these look. So I picked up four of them, they're five by seven. So I wanted some inexpensive prints to put in here. So I went on Etsy searching for pine cones and I will link to exact prints that I bought. They were $7 and they were an instant download. So I downloaded them and printed them off. Next, I'm gonna remove all of the contents from my frames, and I'm gonna use that five by seven paper to trace around where I'm gonna cut out. Whenever you print them off on your printer, make sure you size them down so that they are a five by seven. Don't print them off at like a normal eight by 10, or I think it's eight by 11 size. You wanna make them smaller so that it'll fit into whatever frame you're putting them in. So I'm gonna cut out the pictures. Now another trick I like to do is I take out the glass from the frame. That prevents a lot of the glare that you see in pictures. So I'll put the picture back in, put the backing on, and I'll repeat this for all of my frames. So you could hang these on your wall with command strips. I have them styled on my shelf. I have a podcast. I know you're thinking, so does everyone else, Liz, but I have to tell you, this podcast is so different than anything you've seen on my channel. In my podcast, DIY Disasters, I share with you some of my most entertaining DIY fails, as well as the DIY disasters that you, our listeners, send in as well. As a DIY enthusiast, I know you guys are gonna love it, so come check it out and let me know what you think. For this next project, I grabbed three wood coasters from Dollar Tree. I'm also gonna use some scrapbook paper that I had on hand. I don't even know where I got this. I've had it in my stash now for years. I'm gonna flip my ornaments over and I'm gonna trace around the top portion of it and cut it out. Next, I'm gonna use the scrapbook paper to create some fun shapes. So with one of them, I'm gonna do stripes. One I'm going to cover completely and the other one I'll just kind of do like a fun little diagonal. Next, I sanded these wood pieces on the edges because they were a little rough. I'm gonna stain them with the color Colonial Maple. The blue Mod Podge is great. It's supposed to be waterproof, so it's perfect for something like a coaster. So I'll put a layer on the bottom of my coasters and add on my scrapbook paper. Now a tip is I like to let this dry completely before I add any Mod Podge on top. That's gonna prevent the bubbling in your paper that sometimes happens. Once that's dry, I'll come back in and do a layer on the top of these coasters. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a look at how they turned out. I think they're gonna be perfect on my coffee table. If you guys like seeing Dollar Tree DIYs, make sure you hit that like button so I know to do more like these videos in the future. I love looking for simple decor at Dollar Tree that I can switch up and make it look high end. So I found this black tray when I was at Dollar Tree last and picked that up. I'm gonna be using a cream and black macrame for this DIY. Now I'll link them down in the comments where I pick them up. I'm gonna start at the base and hot glue the cream macrame on and I'll wrap it around hot gluing as I go. I'm gonna put this cream macrame about halfway up my piece. Next I'll cut it off and then I'm gonna come in with the black macrame and I'll repeat this until I get to the very top. I wanna to make sure that I cover it all the way to the top and then I will cut it off and hot glue the black in place. You could put so many things in here. I really believe in using things that you have on hand. I had these cream trees from last year and thought they would be perfect. So I'm gonna group these together so that they're really kind of tightly bunched. Next, you need to find a filler for the bottom. One of my favorite fillers is definitely pine cones. I love that it adds like a natural element to it and it's free if you find them outside. So I'm gonna add the pine cones to the base. And here's a look at how it turned out. I've told you guys this before, but there's always a project in every video that just like causes me the most trouble. So it was these cute containers that I picked up. Now these were actually in the Halloween section. Well, these containers, I grabbed three of them, but you know how sometimes you have the Halloween stuff out and the Christmas stuff. So I put paint stripper on to start with, let it sit, put on my gloves, went to wipe it off. And that was a big fail because the paint stripper did not take any of the lettering off. So then I went on my phone and Googled some options that I could use to remove the paint. There was things like use alcohol, use hydrogen peroxide. So I settled on using hydrogen peroxide. So I put it down into the bottom of a container and I let them sit in there for like 15, 20 minutes, pulled it out, tried to wipe it off. That didn't work, but it did work when I added a scraper on the top. And so I actually really had to scrape off most of the paint on these. In the end, I was able to remove the lettering, but it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. So I wanted to try to make these containers look really elevated and pretty. So I grabbed some of the faux snow that they have at Dollar Tree and put that at the bottom. Then I grabbed a Christmas greenery stem that I had on my tree last year. And I'm just going to pull off some tiny pieces and put them into my container. Now I'm going to put the lid on. And then I thought I was gonna add this really pretty black and white ribbon that I picked up off of Amazon, but I put it on and it just looked too harsh. Like it was just too much for me. So that was a fail. So I took that ribbon off and I settled on just wrapping a little bit of twine on the top. So after all the fails, you'll have to let me know what you think of it. I think they turned out cute. I've really been into keeping my decorations just a little bit simpler lately, and I love having greenery out on my coffee table. So I have this black vase, and I thought, wouldn't it be pretty if I just filled it with some greenery stems? So that's what I did. I picked up two greenery stems, and I had to fold the bases of them. You could cut these off, but I always find that that just is a hard work. And then I'm gonna put it in and kind of mess with the branches until I like the way it looked. It's a fun way for me to dress up my coffee table. If you guys love seeing holiday DIYs, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays, and I have so many upcoming holiday videos that I can't wait to share with you. I'm always looking on high-end websites like Pottery Barn, West Elm, Crate and Barrel for what the trends are for the seasons. And one thing that I've been noticing is they're using a lot of metallics. So I thought, you know, okay, how can I incorporate that with some Dollar Tree items? So I found these clear vases at Dollar Tree. I thought they were really pretty. So to give them that metallic look I spray painted them with two coats of this metallic gold spray paint that I had just picked up at Walmart I started by spray painting them upside down once that dried I flipped them over and spray painted the top and sides now I grabbed these greenery pieces pretty inexpensively at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna cut them off and just put them into the containers to kind of mimic the look of trees you could also use faux trees as well but I was trying to give you some other ideas that you guys could try when you put these in a grouping of three, I think they look really high end on my shelf.
You're gonna have to let me know what your favorite project was down in the comments, and I will talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.